All right, so good bit to cover here. I'll try and break it up in chunks, uh, but before I get started, I just want to say a lot of uh, what I'm about to show wouldn't be possible without uh, the help of um, a few individuals out there, uh, specifically the um, developer of SigDigger here and some of its command line tools, and then um, uh, some help uh, I've had from an individual on the firmware um, uh, for the Pluto SDR, or at least kind of getting the build route uh, set up and uh, same individual that uh, works a lot on the um, SDR for space light application so thank you there as well um, and then probably helps that I've had some experience in the past building firmware uh, for OpenWRT, DDWRT, etc. So uh, alright so what I'm going to kind of show here is where things are at right now with uh, the um, link between uh, Dragon OS Focal and then the firmware that's right now running on the Pluto SDR. I've got this picture up down here because uh, I'm hoping to take a look at the Ant SDR E310 which seems like it has uh, some um, performance boosts um, so I'm kind of excited about building a firmware for that but anyways that's uh, that's for another video. This is mainly going to be the or this is going to be the Pluto SDR. So, anyways, um, a couple things here that we'll get going is first we can SSH in uh, to and oh, and I should point out this Dragon OS Focal that you're seeing uh, me use right here. This is running on an Intel NUC from an SD card, and we're going to SSH into a Pluto uh, SDR that's on the network it's got a USB uh, Ethernet adapter plugged into it and it's uh, just being powered off a wall plug and it has the firmware that uh, I'll link to in the description and so I just you know did some little modification customization there Dragon SDR and uh, so once we're in there if you have a look uh, retrogram is on there so that's one thing that you can run although I've noticed running this and then the uh, command line version of SIG Digger and flipping back uh, you may have to reboot the Pluto SDR I'm not quite sure what's going on there but if you just wanted a real quick snapshot of or well a visualization of what's going on uh, in the spectrum using the Pluto SDR itself I find retrogram is pretty cool uh, for this purpose and so it will run right on the Pluto uh, itself and you can see the keys up top you can control uh, the spectrum there and, and move around and uh, this actually has the uh, feature built in for peak hold and so we can turn that on with a capital H and you can kind of look let it run over time and then see the the peaks uh, that have occurred in the spectrum we can turn that back off with a lowercase h uh, you can t change the bandwidth the gain so on and so forth so I feel like it's a pretty powerful tool pretty unique uh, there to run directly on the Pluto itself um, but what we'll take a look at now is running the uh, command line server here that is built in uh, courtesy of SigDigger here so there's a few profiles and those profiles are located in a hidden folder here in the root directory suscan config sources and you can take a look at these three profiles that are um, available now just know that if you edit anything here and reboot you're going to lose the changes so that will lead into eventually a pretty cool tool out there I saw the other day which is a, a firmware builder I'd, I'd like to call it uh, that can tear down an existing firmware apply your customizations and then rebuild it without having to have the full boot, uh, build root kit and, and the packages built and everything else so I'll cover that later but for this let's just take a look at SUS CLI and if we do dev serve if and we can do uh, 0.0.0 .0. that'll start this up and there'll be three uh, profiles there and what we'll do is 
those three profiles will be served up over the network on the ports that are marked there at the sample rates shown to the right. So we can close SigDigger here and first we'll open the graphical user, user uh, interface SigDigger on the local end here on the Intel NUC. First time you open it may look a little funny here with the resolution just depends you can right click resize uh, or, oops, or maximize to get it to where you need it to be and so we'll see try and situate it here you'll see the activity that's happening on the remote end if we come here hit the gears and we change to remote and we'll change to 192.168.0.101 which is the Pluto SDR we'll start out with uh, the 3 meg sample rate we hit OK we hit connect we can see it does really well uh, when there's no uh, audio preview on. We can tune. Uh, we can tune in the spectrum here. Um, I got to take a look at maybe uh, Soapy, the Soapy SDR version, or figure out why the gain is not uh, available here. I think it's pretty much just set on automatic gain control. All right, so three uh, and one. It's probably be hard pressed uh, as far as the sample rate to get uh, audio across and and keep in mind all the digital signal processing is occurring on the uh, Pluto SDRM which I think I've said that in the past so it's all it's all using the processing power of the Pluto um, even even more so when you turn the uh, audio demodulators on it, it um, uses up uh, some more processing power um, so unlike uh, RTL TCP and some of those other applications that are sending the uh, IQ data back across and then locally um, doing you know DSP to it as, as best of my knowledge this is kind of the opposite it's all occurring on the remote end so I find that pretty unique anyways if we turn that off let's take it to port 28003 where I've set a lower sample rate and we can see that sample rate here and if we just go somewhere in FM here 95 or so we can see let's see Let's try this. And you'll see over here it's turning the analyzer on. So obviously the um, NUC is um, pumping out some audio to the screen I have sitting here, so that's what you hear. But that audio is coming from the Pluto SDR doing its work on the remote end. So uh, you could uh, do uh, some HF with this, I'm sure. I've got the Hammond Up kit, maybe I'll get around to that. And so if I've got the audio coming back here locally, I could uh, open up. A mixer and use uh, pulse audio uh, to um, push over and listening to or listen to a mo uh, have whatever application like WSJTX or or otherwise listen to that monitor interface so I got to give that a shot but here's something else pretty cool so that's the graphical user uh, interface way here but let's let's uh, <clears throat> let's save this profile as uh, let's see, we'll just save it. It's Pluto SDR here, and we'll close out of this. And what we'll try and do is we'll open up a command line interface locally, which will connect to our remote here using SUSE CLI 
radio uh, kind of the cool thing here is I'll try it out the first profile that's saved I think is the user interface that we just uh, had open in SIG Digger so I shouldn't have to do much there is a lot of uh, information you can pass across with the radio here but let's just try it like this okay, there we go So now we've got this open. I can use my AS. Let's see, ASDW. So you can see. I'm sure you can hear that but uh, so what I'm doing now turn this down so what I'm doing now is remotely still have that same server uh, running directly on the Pluto SDR and then here locally we're using the command line of SIGDIGGER as well with the radio um, and, and it just so happens the UI profile it's it's doing, but you can uh, you can look up the additional commands um, that can be applied. For example, um, you can call another profile. Um, you can let's see. I think the as an example here. So I change the frequency. You can change the demodulator, FM, AM, USB, LSB. Um, all these these options can be adjusted. Yep. And that's back to the profile there that can be tuned and so anyways I just wanted to show some examples here of how to use this because the firmware is out there and the Dragon OS build is out there so whether you're running on a laptop or the NUC uh, I, I still got to get around to updating the um, version on the Pluto or I'm sorry on the uh, Raspberry Pi build but right now you can you can use you can do what I'm doing right now if you have a Pluto SDR you can experiment around with the firmware uh, there's some other things in the in the firmware uh, that are built in there open WRT or sorry open VPN is in there uh, if you look at the, um, uh, I'm trying to think here um, if you look at the s6 the uh, open VPN you'll see that it's looking for the key in the JFFS2 so that's where you need to put that to be able to use it I have GPSD in here but I've not had a chance to check out and see how that would work if it would work at all with the USB GPS or you know if I need additional uh, software but I'll get around to that what I've shown right now does work and I know you can set up the open or the uh, yeah the open VPN as well all right so yeah that's a lot of information but hopefully it'll get you up and running with this uh, combination here all right thanks